Hello friends, transaction is one of the most important operations of databases and uh, what we want to, uh, to define through transaction is we want to allow concurrent users uh, perform their own transactions independently without uh, bothering or, or any other or, or without interfering with the other transactions that are con concurrently happening to let a transaction work properly isolation is one of the most important aspects which identifies and isolates a transaction or the, res and the resources involved from from another so what we I mean there are a lot of books and, and blogs which define and explain what are the is isolation levels and what is a transaction I do not have uh, that thing in this in this video session what I have in here is I'm going to explain the most basic SQL Server isolation levels that is the read committed and the read uh, re repeatable read and serializable so I just want to compare the three of them and I'll let you know and explain which one is uh, is better and which one should be used or what sort of decisions that you should be taking when you are trying to uh, declare or or work with a particular isolation level so uh, I have already sh shot a video and put in place for the snapshot isolation level which is the new one in SQL Server but uh, I would like to perform a comparison and explain the three uh, isolation levels so what I have here is I have an employee table the data for this employee table is, is something like this we have got five employees employee name department and the salary what we would want to do is we would insert another employee and then update the name of the employee with employee ID 1 to Keshav. So that is the change that we are trying to do. Now this will be uh, done as a process and concurrently what we would be uh, comparing is we would be running this code. We will be selecting the data of the employee twice uh, in a transaction and then uh, using the three isolation levels. So and see what is the result like so when we start we'll start the first read committed mode and we'll, we'll run this and we'll check the results so we have performed a 15 second delay between two selects and we executed the insert and the update a query after executing uh, the read committed mode so what we see here is both of them are a part of synchronous uh, transactions but what we see here is the disadvantage of read committed is the data between the two selects is not the same that is the data for the first select and the second select has changed and also what we find here is there is a phantom or the ghost record present so which means is if we are using the, the transaction isolation level as read committed the two a disadvantage is reading the same data could lead to inconsistent data read and also there could be a ghost record present if we perform the second read so which means it doesn't it allows the data to be updated by some other application it doesn't lock and and, and also it allows a new record to be inserted so So I roll back this uh, data and also let me roll back the change. Now we'll compare the same using the next repeatable read isolation level. So if we look at the change again I have reverted back the change. Next is let's use repeatable read and see what the result is like if you see in repeatable read what you get is you get the data record to be consistent that is the data even though it was read 
it read the same record in both of the selects but it also read the ghost record so the insert also took place so what you see here is it this is the next level of isolation level uh, i mean after the read committed so what we see here is we see consistent data read and what we see here is also phantom data read so, uh, the data is consistent yet there is a phantom record which gets inserted it allows the insert to also happen concurrently so that is the advantage i mean it's better than the repeatable uh, is a read committed mode yet it allows the phantom data or the ghost record that is the disadvantage of using repeatable read isolation level now what we will see is let's roll back the data again and check with the most exclusive isolation level that is serializable so let's again revert back the data so we have reverted the data and let's go and execute the the repeatable read scenario so let's run this and also run this so what we see here is in 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 serializable mode we are not uh, it will not allow any any sorts of ghost records also to be entered so this is the next isolation level where the data will uh, i mean will be consistent and also there will be no phantom reads of data possible so what we see here is even though the data data will not be you know will be changed only after the transaction of with the serializable isolation level executes to completion so what you find in here is no phantom data read and no and also the consistent data so this is a simple comparison of the three isolation levels to simply help you understand what is the advantages and uh, how and when in which situation you should consider using the isolation level thank you friends